Welcome back to TV3 New Day. If you didn't know, well, we're running from 6 to 10 these days, so you may want to stay with us uh, for the long haul. The Finder newspaper says PDS touts achievements in four months, 3.3 billion Ghana cities debt reduced by over 1 billion Ghana cities. Outages dropped by 20.5%. CVG migrates system onto single platform. Some public institutions also re rejecting service personnel and zero seed imports from 2019 crop season according to Dr. Efri Akutu, Minister for Agri, government plans to support rural farmers with subsidized uh, mobile phones. The Ghanaian Times, attacks on Zoom Lion fueled by jealousy, envy, Duncan Williams says so. Dia, six others charged with murder of two cops, they've been incarcerated, resigned before participated in, participating in politics, public service uh, and civil servants advised. President Tap's Songhai community urges them to ensure Malian Sahelian crisis not imported into Ghana. The Daily Graphic. Zebras eat in parenthesis pedestrians peril in disguised uh, protectors. Daily Graphic has got a new editor, uh, Mr. Kobe Asma, editor, Daily Graphic, and TES recruits new teachers, set requirements for applicants. The Daily Guide. Ali Suraj targets a Sutifi South seat. Cops, killer, church rattled and help expose insurgents. Nana, seven Kaswa cop killers caged. I'm coming back to face the mess, Mahama claims. And those are the headlines. My guest this morning, Mr. James Kwabuna Bonfe, he is the acting general secretary of the Convention People's Party. They recently marked their 70th anniversary. Comrade, good morning. Welcome. Good How are morning. you doing, Thank Chief? Thank you for having me. Everything well? God is good. Great, great, great. Mr. Eric Chum is also a member of the NPP's communication team. Mr. Eric, welcome. That's good everything. morning. Thank good you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Looking sharp as usual. And I'm trying to learn from you. I'm trying <laughs> to. <learn. laughs> we'll be joined here shortly by the honourable member for the Tamale North constituency, <laughs> Al Hassan Sohini. He will join us in a bit. But uh, I'm sure you've been following the events of the Cop Killers and matters arising quickly, James. I take a few thoughts from you if you have. Well, let me begin by um, saying a good morning to our cherished viewers. And um, congratulate my friend Kobe Asma okay. on his uh, um, rise yeah. to the editor mm. of the Daily Graphic. Right. Um, you may know that he's been the political editor mm. for some time now. Absolutely. Um, I have a personal relationship with him, and okay. I, I, well, I feel that he he's, is a position he deserves. Mm. Okay. Uh, we would only encourage him, and mm. on this on behalf of the Convention People's Party. Uh, we would want to admonish and encourage him mm -hmm. that as the editor of the state-owned mm -hmm. daily graphic, mm -hmm. he would um, soldier on and lead in an unbiased mm -hmm. reportage mm -hmm. and give um, fair, equitable coverage mm -hmm. to all the media actors okay. or political um, uh, parties in the country, mm -hmm. as well as uh, continue to to give us the the quality that Daily Graphic is okay. noted for. Okay. Um, the issue of the cop cops, mm -hmm. who, two of them. Yes, two of them. Eric was just <coughs> feeding me or filling me in with some, you know piece of information mm. regarding the one particular officer mm. um, where there are some missing aspects mm. of the account okay. that even the police is putting out. Mm. My initial um, you know, view is that if we don't begin to discuss our problems in this country mm -hmm. with sincerity, with sincerity mm -hmm. and with a view to seek solutions, we will belabor and over, uh, you know, concentrate on the descriptions or if you like the descriptives mm -hmm. of how the problems manifest mm -hmm. without appreciating or interrogating the causal factors or what the real issues behind them are. Mm. And, and once we don't get the causal factors or the real issues behind them, mm. finding solutions will be difficult for us. 
How do you mean? I mean simply that it is imagined that it appears there was something personal between one of the killers or the guy who shot mm -hmm. and the, po one, the poli one of the policemen yeah, in about question. Dia. I don't know the names. Yeah. Eric may, 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 may well. He was feeding me with this uh, uh, information. Okay. And I'm, I'm particularly surprised that the police narrative, the, the official communication from the mm -hmm. uh, Ghana Police Service itself, appears not to be aware mm -hmm. of this um, background that, I mean, Eric is, is, was filling me in with, or they deliberately sought to ignore that. I, I've seen those things on social media, um, but they haven't been verified yet yes. by the police, so you don't expect well, What I'm saying is that it is important, but you see, the police service, mm -hmm. before you put out any information out there, mm -hmm. it must be based on some grounding. Okay. It must be based on some... But what is on social media was not put out. I'm not talking about... I have no re reference to social media. Okay. You are making reference I'm making and I'm saying I'm, that... Nobody this, has this, seen it. This information... <laughs> Kabila, this information you're, you're saying, Eric, passed on to you, is information that's out there on social media, that yeah. the gentleman in question is supposed to be a land guard, and, and they, they have a certain other, they know yeah. They know themselves. Yeah. And, you know, his gun got missing. He paid a thousand Ghana yeah. CDs to get it and all of that. Well, these are the details police, you are even adding yes, in. Eric didn't but, give you But the police has not confirmed that which is why i'm saying we can't fault the police for for not maybe maybe you have a different opinion you see the point is that it is not possible that the police service or hierarchy mm. will not be aware of some of these things ahead of uh, they are making a statement on mm. this matter mm. okay and from what eric told me there appears to have been a running battle between the, the, the individuals, mm -hmm. the police and this gentleman or this suspect, they seem to have been a running mm -hmm. uh, matter. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure if the police officer had even lodged a complaint mm -hmm. about that matter because it involves land, allegedly. Mm -hmm. Okay? That they have been deaf on the side of the, uh, the suspect, mm -hmm. that the suspect's mother is dead right. and is it, it, suspected to have been after uh, there's been a threat of <laughs> some i mean what i'm trying to say is that once there's always a, a story or an angle or a twist to a story mm -hmm. in, in coming out with official communication mm -hmm. we we need to either be measured or be 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 able to cover mm -hmm. the, the broad i mean uh, uh, spectrum of, of it but largely, I think I want to come back to an argument I've been advancing. There seems to be a problem with the way we are handling our security in this country. Okay. And that is why the CPP has been arguing that we need to build a state security structure to stop these regime securities. What is wrong with the present structure? The, the present structure is that we, it seems to, to be encouraging regime security administration. Okay. Where it is that people who are put at the helm of security architecture mm -hmm. are people whose loyalties are to a certain party. Okay. But we believe that loyalties must be to the state mm -hmm. as far as the security is concerned. Mm -hmm. If you take the United States example, when presidential aspirants are on the run, the secret service of the United States, whose loyalties are to the state, mm -hmm. they may belong to parties. They vote. Yes, that notwithstanding. But their loyalties are to the state. They protect these presidential aspirants even when they are aspirants. Mm. And once they get closer to emerging as presidents of the republic, mm. and it is declared, the state security, se I mean, secret service take over and nobody else but the state. Uh, IGP John Kudalo proposed that before he left office and uh, most of the parties flagged it. Which, who, who are the most of the parties? I flagged? don't know. Did your political party? We, we, I remember very well in, 20, six, in 2016. The six policemen. Yes, John yes. Kudalo I was very, very much deeply involved in the 2016 so you didn't presidential have campaign. Much of we had so you police. Didn't have much of no, men. we would never. We don't believe in those things. We believe in the power of the state to protect us. Okay. And so we encourage it. We had, look, uh, 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 we had six of them assigned to us. Mm. Two of them were with the chairman and leader at the mm. time, uh, Professor Edmondele. Uh, two of them were with Ivor Kubna Greenstreet. I was with Greenstreet most of okay. the time. So I, I related with them. Um, one lady, Ladi, 
Okay. You know? So we, we, we accepted that proposition and okay. we worked with it, actually. Okay. Okay. So it is something that we need to encourage. Mm. But what I'm saying is that we can be able to do that mm. when all of us remove ourselves partisan-wise. Is that easy? We can. Is it easy? It is not easy. Nothing is easy, my brother. Mm. Even waking up to come to sit here <laughs> this morning hasn't been easy. But once you focus and you decide and determine that this is what I want to do, yeah. you make the effort towards it. And I want to conclude R that wrap up on this it is not about perfection. Mm. It is not about perfection. Mm. It's about consistently seeking to be persistent okay. with doing good. That's what matters. Great. Eric, details are emerging. Uh, it's threats to the mother of the of the, the the captured suspect. And then a month later, he she, she's dead. The church now are rattled. They're saying, well, we are surprised because he was in church uh, the it's Sunday the before Sunday. And, and all of that. But let me quickly introduce the Honorable Alassane Suhini here before Tamale North. I'd like to welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? Perfect. Great, Eric, take a bite quickly. Well, um, thank you very much. Uh, good morning to all the viewers of TV3 this morning, to yourself, and uh, to Comrade Kabila <laughs> and my good friend uh, Suhini. Um, we actually, uh, congratulations as well. Uh, right. He won his uh, primary he, service. He's our comrade. Uh, well, I don't know him for hey, being okay. a comrade. He's an okay. honorable member of the party. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, but he maybe he's another comrade. We have to go way back. You know, when um, when you sit between two okay. either socialists, okay. so you have to be okay. extremely, have to be careful, extremely careful where the conversation would go. But uh, my condolences to the families of the uh, bereaved, uh, the bereaved families of the police officers. Mm. Uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, I mean, either way, any way you look at it, um, it will be gut wrenching for the families and friends of these police. And even when it comes to the morale mm. of the police service itself. Um, I had taken time to go through the community. I know sometimes, like you said, um, there's social co uh, media conversations and there's what's been reported on various platforms. Mm. And it goes through to talk about some of the challenges that we've even faced as a country. Um, and if it's true, especially in this conversation surrounding land mm. and this issue of land guards and, I mean, you would even buy your land and then somebody will come and say, I'm coming to take mm -hmm. digging fee digging and sometimes fee. it actually... Roofing fee. Be, and all sorts of ridiculous, preposterous <laughs> things that uh, we haven't been able to get the, the hang of it. I'm happy that... I mean, after the uh, this whole Iowa so West were gone, uh, chaos and everything, the president took that decision and had the conviction to take to parliament this whole vigilante uh, bill, which I think that I mean, if I'm right, has elements of this whole land guardism or whatever in there. We need to stem that and then move away from this whole idea that people can take the law into their own hands and everything. And I mean, whilst we are, this is a security matter, it's also an economic conversation mm -hmm. where ever since we were kids, I mean, you go through uh, any curriculum and they're talking about uh, a certain uh, land tenor system mm -hmm. where we have issues with this and people are looking for land for investment and it's vested in some, either if you call chiefs or mm -hmm. kids, whatever. And these are things that, in modern day Ghana, is still giving us challenges. So I think that we probably have to take a very uh, good look at this whole situation and at least bring some kind of sanity in this matter so that people will not uh, indulge in some of these acts that now, I mean, of course, even the initial conversation was that this is a purely traffic matter exactly. where to police, but then when you find out what the real issues are, then it's actually more murkier than it, it, we it, think. It, 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 and that, again, mm -hmm. brings into fall even a certain reaction. So basically, it's almost as if that uh, the, our police officers on the, on the patrol mm -hmm. uh, have to be armed. And I think that really that conversation should be had. Okay. I mean, but is it just the arms? I mean, there are other things that you can give them. I was listening to one ex-military uh, Officer who's talking about giving them pepper, pepper sprays, sprays and tasers. I was talking about body cams and, and, panic, and so panic we can look at all of those things because, again, we can also move away from the fact 
that there's been occasions where some police officers have become trigger happy. You know, so a mere traffic offense or, I mean, an altercation or disagreement with a police officer would actually result in somebody also losing their life. So we need to be able to balance these things. But I'm for, again, retooling the police, which this government has done, uh, making sure this that they have the... This government is doing, you mean? Yes, I mean, has done. well, you can, you can put it in nature, but the, when I say I that, every it's a... Con uh, yes, which every in terms of vehicles, yes. <laughs> in terms of vehicles and equipment and all of those, and of course, you can say that there has to be uh, a lot more investment in the police service. We have recruited some more police officers since we've come and all of those things. But again, like Kabila was saying, this, this whole conversation surrounding the whole architecture the, the, and this whole idea of uh, if there's indeed some kind of political uh, I, I I don't want us to politicize this. No, but I want us to look at, okay, the, the other side of the conversation will be the proliferation of small arms, mm -hmm. which has come up strongly, you know, in this particular matter, where somebody commits a crime with a gun, allegedly, mm -hmm. as we've seen on social media or read, and then he gets it over the counter after exchanging a thousand Ghana cities. Exactly, but that, that's that's no, a big but you problem. See, I mean, if you look at this particular issue, for instance, it, it's reported that the gentleman actually had a license for... No, I, I'm, this yeah. is just one of it. Yeah, I mean, but you know that see, uh, 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 Superintendent Kwesi Fori also mm -hmm. went out to Tuba to pick up some uh, land guards who were trigger happy, they were firing at mm -hmm. each other. They took some guns and a whole, a whole lot of cartridges from them. So the arms are there in the hands of private citizens, mm -hmm. whether registered or unregistered. Mm -hmm. The question is how they use these arms and who is policing them. Again, so, so I think that sometimes you probably have to spend a, a bit of time discussing what pertains or what's actually transpiring ac around us. Mm. So if you look at the sub-region, for instance, uh, there's been a lot of issues to do with security, Burkina, Mali, you know, and uh, surrounding uh, countries. And I feel that even the issues to do with the porous nature of our borders, for mm. instance, has actually allowed these things to happen. Um, I've seen some communication, I think it was uh, from the police for a, a while, a few months ago or so, where they were talking about some kind of amnesty or something mm. and all of those things. Um, then you have the people who actually have a legitimate use for these things, where they go hunting and all mm. sorts of things. So it's almost akin to, uh, in one breath, you have people who have the requisite licensing to use this, mm. and then you have the small arms that have found its way through our borders and a certain level of uh, breeziness, I mean, that has also uh, come up. But again, I think that all of these things would be uh, forestalled if we have a system where the security apparatus itself is a bit more proactive. Kabila and says depoliticize it, well, make can, it a regime, you, you, a regime thing. I have always Let the structure work. I've, I've always maintained that, I mean, uh, our democracy in itself is dynamic. I mean, there are things that we never used to do in 1992, we are doing today, by dint of uh, things that people have actually uh, sent to the Supreme Court mm -hmm. to seek clarity. We've changed, we, we used to uh, have the executive appoint MMDCs and DCs, mm -hmm. now we have taken steps to vote for it. So mm -hmm. that conversation, as far as I'm concerned, can be had. Okay. There's merits in the okay. conversation as to who and how even an IGP should be appointed and right. how this is right. done. Okay. Um, but then again, there's also some people who have the view that, well, you need the executive to be able to uh, take control of the police service okay. and everything. But um, it's not a very difficult thing to do. Okay. I think that we can find new ways of actually making the ordinary Ghanaian citizen feel safer. So, Hini, your yes, turn, sir. Thank you, uh, Johnny. And good morning good to morning. you. Good morning to my colleagues, uh, Comrade Kabila and uh, Eric. And good morning to our viewers, especially the very good people of uh, the Tamale North constituency. Um, I think it's uh, a broader discussion of insecurity in this country and the need for us to, you know, uh, get it right. I am quite happy that we have moved from the denials mm -hmm and the attempt to suggest that it was just much ado about nothing and that security had rather improved and some people were up to no good 
when they spoke of the need for government to beef up security and attend to some of those concerns that were raised at the time. I am happy that we have moved from that conversation and we are now having a more useful conversation of how really to deal with the reality of insecurity. And some of the suggestions that have come are quite useful because as a country, we have been struggling to even meet the UN ratio mm -hmm. for, you know, uh, police to uh, civilian about one to five hundred. About one to five hundred. I think uh, it was one to one thousand one hundred uh, somewhere in twenty ten. Right. It improved to one thousand seven hundred somewhere in twenty fourteen. I don't know the current ratio uh, as at now. What I do recall is that the minister for. Uh, interior, I think a year ago spoke about the fact that we had a deficit of about 23,000. Mm -hmm. Now, it is not just a question of even the numbers. It is also the question of how they are recruited. Mm -hmm. And that is where Kabila's point about the partisanship comes in and the regime protection instead mm -hmm. of the, you know, state protection right. becomes, you know, an issue that is worth looking into. Mm -hmm. What are the uh, standard practicing procedures for recruiting the police service. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we are all not satisfied with the procedures that are used currently because of sometimes the, you know, uh, cloudy nature of how some of the people get in the qualifications uh, and non-qualifications and how, who you know and how people get into it. We need to look at that, you know, because if you even listen to the stories around this particular case, it, it, it smacks of unprofessionalism in some cases. And it tells you that perhaps our men and women will need, if they are already in uniform, some level of in-service training mm -hmm as to how to handle some of these things. So it is not just the recruitment, it is also even the training that they get after the recruitment. Even if we get the recruitment right, I know we don't have that now, but it is important to have a discussion around how to get it right. You are not suggesting that all the people who are who get in there uh, are not recruited right? Definitely not. I'm not making that suggestion. I mean, they are fine, you know, officers, uh, men and women, who, uh, for love of, of, of the job, uh, you know, have gone through the procedures that they are supposed to go through mm -hmm. and are, uh, you know, putting their lives at risk to uh, keep you and I safe. And they deserve all our respect. But we cannot deny the fact that there are a number of people who also do not deserve to be in the uniform. And even if they have had the uniform, there hasn't been any sort of, you know, in-service training to bring them up to speed mm -hmm. with what is required of the uniform right. that they put on. And that is why some of these stories that you hear mm -hmm. makes you wonder if indeed uh, 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 those handling the issues are professional mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. You know, so for me, I am happy that we are having uh, this, this, this discussion. It started, first of all, with uh, a suggestion that it was a traffic, mm -hmm. you know, uh, violation. Now we are hearing about land guardism, mm -hmm. you know, and we are told that Eric is a church boy, yeah. you know, and it is surprising some of the church members that, you know, some something sort of like this mm -hmm. is attributed uh, 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 to him. But... For me, in this discussion, what I find missing is also the connection to the three or four other police officers who were also shot on the roadside. Mm. Because I thought there was some lunatic on the spree and, you know, trying to put the fear of God perhaps in our men in uniform mm. uh, to, you know, reduce their morale and, and perhaps to carry out a more serious uh, crime in future. Mm -hmm. But I don't find a connection in this arrest mm -hmm. to the other police officers who were shot. And if there is no connection, then we still be, should be looking out there for what may have resulted in the death of the three or four other officers. Mm -hmm. It cannot just uh, be ignored. And this arrest, without any established connection to the other killings, should not be the only one that we should be concerned about okay. unless we can actually find you know some some connection okay. to 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 the you know uh, other killings i i i am 
happy mm -hmm. that so far it doesn't seem like the killings have affected morale in the service. Right. I still see our policemen and women out there, uh, those do, do they have the a MTTU. Choice? No. Do they, do they have a choice? Your they, IGP says, uh, go out there. You will go maybe before complaining. No, but what I'm saying is that I find them still current. For example, the MTTU uh, uh, officers, mm -hmm. they are still on the road. Right. They are still doing their duty. But, but I'm and you and somehow, I understand. But somehow you can tell when somebody is unwilling to do the job mm -hmm. that he's doing. I mean, I see the attitude, and I think they are still very I, I eager. I see them emboldened, they need, brother. Yes, and know. they need to be saluted mm -hmm. for that. But I think that whatever the story is around the arrest of mm. this gentleman called Eric, okay. we must not let it overshadow the killings of the yes. other officers right. if there is no connection. Not, not Eric Chum, Eric Dia. Yes, you mean. yes. Okay. Eric, 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 that's why right, the, the one arrested. That's why I, I, I qualified it. You know, the Thank one, you. With the you. one Thank arrested. You, we need to retool our, 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 our officers right. too. And uh, I'm happy about the point made that every government have been doing it. But at what pace you know we need to uh, look at modern ways of policing i'm i am sad that somehow uh, we have reduced the police visibility i thought that uh, it served some useful purpose at the time it that it was introduced but it is not uh, as it used to be and i don't know why i don't okay. know what is uh, replaced with thank that. you and perhaps we should look at that thank you very again. much Kabila. I, I think 30 seconds Sweeney has just said something that is very important and uh, I'm touching on it because, you see, this whole point okay. of our discussion mm -hmm. and uh, in terms of governments, mm -hmm. they should be motivated by a national security agenda, okay. which should be coming from the National Development Planning Commission. Okay. If you look at the intentment behind the establishment of that outfit mm -hmm. at the very inception of our nation building, it was for such purposes. Mm -hmm. But you see... That should tie in with what I call, and we have read from experts call, triggers of insecurity. One of them is poor or inappropriate security communication. It calls for contextualizing situations mm. and not generalizing. And that's where I think Sweeney's point comes in. That, yes, there have been incidents, but can you link, link, link all of them mm. as being uh, coming from the same causal factors, okay. can we not decompartmentalize uh, them and deal with them on their uh, 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 merits and on their individual, you know, individual cases? cases yeah. We need to do that. Then the other key triggers of insecurity, which then comes in with the point I was making. Mm -hmm. Security is politics. What I was cautioning against was the partisan okay. aspect of it. Not for us, for security is politics. Mm -hmm. Okay, at the end of the day, the president is the chairman of the National Security Council. Right. He is there as president, mm. as a politician. The, poli uh, the, the police council yeah, is chaired by the vice president. president. He is there as vice president. Mm. He's a politician. So we cannot decouple that. Mm. And that is why these other triggers I'm going to mention, one of them, quickly, unemployment. Quickly. Mm. Unemployment, it is the politicians who must make sure that there's job creation. And that's why the CPP says that the government must make job creation its full business. Okay, thank you very much. Full uh, business. Let's talk about the find up. PDS <laughs> is touting its achievements in four months. It says uh, some 3.3 billion Ghana cities debt that has been reduced by uh, 1 billion Ghana cities. Artage is dropped by 20.5%. Uh, okay, uh, well, it's uh, day one after the 30 day probe of the PDS thing. We don't know who investigated the, the thing. Eric, you okay to share quick information before we get into PDS <laughs> touting its achievements? Well, the I'm... investigation was started on the 2nd of August. And today, today is the 3rd of September. One month, one day. We don't okay, know who so, investigated. Um, is the report ready? I'm sure. I mean, the president was out of the jurisdiction. He's just been back. Um, uh, there's two sets of reports. And uh, I'm sure that in the same okay. day or so, you will be able to get an official right. communication from mm. government on this matter. I'm, I'm, uh, told, so I'm I so, sorry about that. I'm told we, we need to take a quick break. We'll okay. return shortly to continue the conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
Yeah, Welcome back, and thank you very much. We had to take an emergency break. Sorry about that. Um, you can always join us with your thoughts and comments on 020 216 That's our WhatsApp line 020 216 Also live on Facebook and on Twitter. And you, uh, we're happy to receive your thoughts and comments. Eric, you were airborne. Sorry about that when I cut you. Well, and I was asking if the report is ready. But I'm saying that uh, you know, the, uh, the president was out of town and um, is here now. Uh, and there's two sets of reports, like you know, uh, there was a delegation that was sent to Qatar, mm -hmm. and then a, a delegation that was sent to the US to uh, interactive uh, partners over there. Uh, so I'm sure that within the next uh, few days or two, uh, you'll find the official communication from government from that perspective. Okay. Um, I think that, I mean, if you want us to talk about the uh, communication that has been put out by PDS. Mm. We'll, we'll talk uh, about it in a bit. I, are you privy to the members that sat around the table to travel to Qatar and to the US? To I'm not. I think that this is the second or third time. No, I'm, I'm asking. You see, I keep because asking, I mean, but the, the I've asked it for 30 days but and I've not gotten see, an answer. Johnny, Johnny, so I'm, I'm Johnny, worried. Johnny, I think that really that it's extremely, if you like, those are. Uh, nitpicking stuff because once the report comes out, okay. uh, the report will state categorically who the members are. And you are sure the report will be published? Well, I mean, there has to be a report, and government actually categorically stated that um, uh, PDS was being suspended for 30 days, okay. right? And some investigation will be done as to the anomalies that has been found or okay. breaches, if you like, okay. that has been found okay. in that particular arrangement. So for me, I think that um, this is, this is a, an open comment. It's something okay. that is in the public domain. Mm. Um, um, I know for a fact that there's a certain skepticism when it comes to government and people trying to be a bit cynical and everything. Just well, skepticism. but you, uh, it's, it's, um, it's part of our body politic. I have no challenge with that. Okay. But if it's an issue as I mean, open as this, and that has, I mean, caught the attention of everybody. I don't think that it's even in the interest of any government to just sweep it under the carpet and not come out with any uh, report or is recommendation. That, is that not enough reason for, for the government to have said that, oh, Mr. A, B, C, and D are the ones we are sending to Qatar, Mr. D, C, E, F? No, are but the ones I, I think that it's. Because it's, you remember, that, of, because you remember of, that in the Ameri, in the case of Ameri, yeah. the names were actually published. But Johnny, by, John, by that's what I'm saying. That I, I really do not know what the motivation is. But no, I no, think I'm that it's a very. one yes. in Ameri, it's, but it's only okay. And they're all not the same there okay. can be i mean differences okay. i mean and in some of these things even have national security implications and connotation in terms of even the members who are being sent there okay. you understand it's not everybody that has to essentially have their name come out or the kind of work that they do that would have to be put out in the public domain because okay. these are sensitive issues as far as i'm concerned okay. but in the final analysis mm. it's government's responsibility to be open and transparent to its people. And government, through the Minister of Information, stated categorically the tenor of this particular suspension mm -hmm. and a report, like as, as I'm saying, uh, once they own, uh, the president is in town, mm -hmm. a report would be uh, given to him. And then uh, subsequent information okay. will be Quick, given. Quickly, let's touch on the, the debt reduction uh, claim by PDS, 3.3 uh, reduced to uh, by over one billion. So now, if you like, uh, some 2.3 billion now uh, that's left. They say, well, yes, they have raised, they have raised such money. Is that enough justification for? Well, I don't know what for, you're for, trying for the lack of capital injection. Okay, I mean that's your your conjecturing here. But I, am I conjecturing? You, well, because I don't know that. I the, mean, the yeah, initial, I'm not the initial said they didn't bring I, any I, money. I, I, but that's what people are saying. But okay. I, again, okay. I think that that conversation would come to the fore very soon. Okay. But what I'm saying is that that was the essence. I mean, the real reason why. Um, in 2015, that's when we signed the uh, Millennium Challenge, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the Compact Two, right? Mm -hmm. Where a certain private sector um, what, um, participation was meant to be brought into our energy sector to apply that level of efficiency, you know. And even when these conversations were being had as to PDS and all the bruhaha, mm -hmm. right? It became evidently clear that in a period that they have actually taken over, their collectibles have actually increased vis-a-vis -vis that of ECG. Mm -hmm. So that, for me, would be positive. In terms of 
the reduction of debt and everything. I mean, I'm just uh, reading the story, uh, but that. Would in, its, in itself would be a step in the right direction. You see, our I think have that, also dropped. Yes, I mean, and again, I'm sure that they have their own mechanism to be able to mm. uh, check that. So if that has happened, that is also like a, a plus. Um, the average Ghanaian, as far as I'm concerned, are, and even the, uh, the consumer or mm. customer, all that they require is that they have access to the utility mm -hmm. and it's at a certain affordable rate for them to be able to go about their normal okay. duties and okay. enterprise. Mm -hmm. So for them, really, I think that sometimes when we try to talk about PDOs or ECG or whatever, they are not necessarily too much interested in. As okay. far as they are concerned, all the lights are on, it's um, uh, affordable enough for them and all of those things. We can do, we can do the politics, we okay. can talk about these things and make um, all the noise and everything. But the most important thing is that they are doing, they are fit for purpose, they are doing what the uh, contract or the arrangement requires them to do. Okay. And then we can, again, it doesn't mean that they are uh, infallible or you cannot drill down to certain aspects of the work and even expect better from them, right? But okay. if you look at these things, I mean, if that is really the case, mm -hmm. then I feel that the whole idea behind um, bringing in the private sector participation mm. to allow for the efficiency okay. that was uh, bereft hitherto is a good thing. Thank you. So, Ini, uh, Eric says, take your time. The report will come when the, old, uh, the president um, arrives back in town. So, there's really much ado about nothing. And this is what PDS is telling us, that they've been able to reduce outages by 20.5%, uh, paid over 1 billion uh, Ghana cities of the debt owed. And so, well, maybe we should congratulate them. Somebody would ask the timing of, of this release as well. You know, Johnny, um, I've had a number of um, interesting phrases on corruption and scandals in this government, and I'm yet to uh, decide on which one is more appropriate, whether the one day, one fraud, that's the one D, one F, being now uh, one day one fraud, now. or whether oh, the yeah, so no, it's not mischief. Yeah, so you, see, you, will, a script, you will understand me. Yeah. You will understand me when I finish. I mean, sometimes it's as if this government thinks we are all stupid. You know, so you don't know which one is it. The the fact that uh, you know the scandals are in a relay. People are in a relay race. So one is down, then they pass the button to the next. Mm. It's. And, and, and they think that platitudes, rhetorics, and PR gimmicks, like the one put out by PDS, is what will assuage whatever pain that they are inflicting on us. PDS insists they've done nothing wrong. I said, I, I, the jury is out there, but anyone with conscience at this point will not be, you know, bold enough to put his integrity on the line for PDS. Anyone with conscience. Because, like I said, the jury is out there. We all still do not know what the facts are, mm -hmm. but we cannot also ignore the speculations and we cannot ignore even the details. Mm -hmm. We can't. I mean, we in the minority have put out a number of issues that have not been denied. Mm -hmm. The energy minister himself said this was fraudulent. You know, his deputy said this looked like a scheme. You know, you have a, a senior communication member of the NPP. Um, what's his name? Uh, he formed this organization recently. Of, oh, the name just... A plus? Uh, no, Richard. Uh, is it Richard? No, it's not Richard. Oh, that's my friend. I, it just escaped me. But he, he, he held a press conference on this matter and talked about how, you know, uh, PDS... Richard Nyama. Richard Nyama, thank okay. you. Richard Nyama. How he, he found out that some of the letters, and not just the guarantee letter, mm. were all fraudulently acquired. And there was some misrepresentation to the IFC and others. He said so. And these are people from the belly of the elephant. 
So the so I'm achievements of PDS, so, as, as is being reported, doesn't count. Johnny, Johnny, doesn't Johnny, I am saying that this is a government that thinks that platitudes, rhetorics, and PR gimmick. But what has this, but this got to do with Because this is, is a from, PR gimmick. From, from but this who? is not from the government. It's, it's from it's <laughs> the, the, the finder is, rep is reporting what PDS has says said. it has. Done. And this is even up in, up in knowledge. It's Eric, al knowledge. allow me. Okay. Eric, allow me. So, he, he knows that. So, just so this is this is the things. find that newspaper written mm -hmm. by Elvis Darko re mm -hmm. reporting to you what PDA says I have been able to and do. You say, and you say this is not government. Who does the finder work for? I mean, who owns the finder? Thank don't you know who owns the finder? No, I don't know. You don't? No. The Minister for Business Development owns the finder. Oh, okay. That's one. PDS, who are the who are the promoters of PDS? Awal. Yes, who are the promoters of PDS? Don't we know their, their relationships with government? So who, when I say government, why is it mischief? <laughs> yeah, the finder is government. It represents government's interest. So everybody that's associated with you Please, is you. Please, please. Eric, right. Eric, Eric allow, allow, allow him. Allow him. Kabila needs to come in yeah. too, so let's, you know, <laughs> let's apportion no, it. I am not probably. as big as government. <laughs> so anybody related to me cannot be me. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about government here, and I'm saying that this is PR gimmick that PDS is engaged in, but this PR gimmick will not wash away the fact that there are infractions mm. in the whole contract and we await a thorough investigation, even though, mm. even though I am not very confident. Because you recall that on this set, I told you the, the procedure. Mm. It is usually when the scandals break, mm -hmm. suspend, probe, mm -hmm. clear, praise, and sometimes reassign. So that is what happens. So, so the report that, that is, is, is the yet pattern. to come, that, you, you are already all, throwing it away. No, you see, you see, for example, we're told that PDS had been suspended. Right. Now PDS is telling you it's working. When did government restore the contract? But there was an no, where we were I mean, all I, told. Can, can no, I, please, can I, please, let's be honest. You, you have let's be honest. Noted, so let's be honest, Jenny. Were we not all told in this country that PDS had been suspended? True. Why is PDS now giving us a report of how far they have been working? Again, recall that PDS and ECG came up with another joint working Arrange, agreement yes. after government had suspended them. I mean, who are they kidding? What, what kind so, of so, mess so is so this? So the report that is, is yet to come will Do you, achieve Again, that. and you have, you have consistently raised this very important question of who the members of this committee are. And they tell you it's nitpicking. Since when did we, you know, come to the conclusion that there's no need to know who is doing an investigation? All you require is a report. Since when did we come to that conclusion? That you don't need to know who is doing an investigation. Don't ask me if it is a CID. Don't ask me if it's a BNI. Don't ask me about the members doing it. All you need is that, wait, the president will tell you a report has been prepared. And as usual, the report has cleared the person. And the president is gospel. I mean, what he says no, is gospel. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. It's, James. It's pathetic. How, how, this, how, uh, how I think yeah. our friends in government. What, what do you, you know, see from where you sit? Us. Well, I think I will take it from where uh, the so you need left off. Honorable Member of Parliament for Tamale North mm. left off. I think that um, a report is as quality mm. as the quality of Not the people who uh, the report of a committee mm -hmm. uh, is as quality as the quality of the members who form or constitute that committee. Well, I've asked that question for 30 so days. It's uh, important that uh, we know if there's indeed a committee investigating something. I, I mean, having said that, uh, I think it is also premature mm -hmm. and uh, presumptuous to want to conclude on a yet to be uh, um, laid yeah. report. Yeah. It's, it's not fair. And for us in the public arena and public space, I have been saying this, we should be careful what standards we set. We can't pick and choose which state institutions to have faith in and which reports from the very state institutions we want to take and reject. How do you mean? We, our attitude must be that if we believe in state institutions doing their work. Mm. For example, Shraj. And Shraj comes out with a report, such as in the uh, um, 
the investigation of the Ford gift mm. to Ford President Mama. Mm. And they said that there was no conflict of interest mm -hmm. in that matter, mm -hmm. but that there was a breach in the manner in which the president received the gift, right. which was about if you receive a gift, you have to pay tax on it. Mm. And but even there, they parried that. They parried the manner in which he received the gift and said that because he had given it to the uh, security pool, it made up for or it mitigated. But that's an afterthought. That Whatever it is, no, no, no. Yeah. Eric, Eric, I, 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 I am speaking to a report from a state institution. Okay. okay. Now, when you take that report and you accept it, mm. you cannot later on say that when the same uh, Shraj mm. has investigated another matter mm. relating to an appointee in President Akufuado's government, mm. and the president has allowed the person to go, then you describe President Akufuado as a clearing agent. Okay. That would not be fair. That's the point I'm making. Right. So we need to be consistent with our position. With how we accept state state, uh, state institutions, right. our confidence in state institutions, and how we take reports from them. Okay. Having said that, you see, this whole PDS ECG, I think I'm tended to um, go along a point that Sweeney made. Which is? Were they really suspended? That's what government says. That really, government said so, government made that claim, but really, indeed, has PDS been suspended? Because as we speak now, we have not heard a contrary view from government or statement from government that PDS has been, their suspension has expired been and that they've been reinstated. We have not heard that. So my question is, and I'm raising the question, were they really suspended? You see, from the CPP point of view, this PDS matter, the NDC and the MPP have questions to answer. At the heart of it mm -hmm. is the unbridled divestiture and privatization of state institutions. That is the heart of the matter, the core. The, the MPP says it's set up SIGA to cure some of these things. I'm saying that from the point go, okay. PDS was coming in without capacity mm -hmm. to use ECG to do what ECG was doing already, to be paid for. And it says it's paid one mi one billion. I'm saying, but, but, but the point is, whether it is their... even one CD okay. that we're going to pay PDS, mm -hmm. right from the Mahama administration mm -hmm. that worked on this thing to the president, Akufuado matter, it raises the question of what we do with diversity and privatization. Right. And you need to know, that whole exercise was not something at the initiation of anybody in Ghana. It is at the behest or the call of uh, uh, MIDA, which is <laughs> tied MCC. to MCA, okay. which is America. Right. So they are telling us what to do. Okay. But, you know, Wrap up for me. those who say that state institutions cannot perform, we should look at China. We should look at Singapore. We should look at South Korea. We should look at America and look at the United Kingdom. The truth of the matter is that the state always must be at the forefront of running business. Okay. Because the legal architecture, the environment, the protection, mm. they are all guaranteed only by the state. Thank you. The moment the state re re reneges or relinquishes its duties and responsibilities, mm. you leave it to the private market, and then the, the, for them, they are all encouraged by their profiteering. Okay, your point and is And the state well is on the loose. understand you. Bella is standing by. Hello, Bella. Hi, Johnny. What Enjoying the conversation. Well, quite a lot. Uh, I believe that a number of people are agreeing with Kabila this morning. Okay. Oh, really? Sort of. <laughs> sort of. But let's read the comments and check. Uh, so, good morning, Johnny. The security of our dear country is born out of the level of our party politics. People are taking the law into their hands because they don't believe in the state machinery. Ghana is moving backwards. This is from Aram, a Denta news site. And A.U. Farouk Tamale North Constituency says, Good morning to you all, especially my MP, Honorable Suyini. Uh, to me, it is not about arming the police, but to reform the entire police service. Requisite training methods must be given them. Okay. And um, is this a change Nanado promised? Since he assumed power, fuel prices have increased so many times, therefore increasing the hardship of the people 
Contrary to his promise, he has increased existing taxes and introduced new ones. Ghanaians pay the taxes and the corrupt government officials steal everything through the flagship one day, one fraud. I always find this interesting when they say So this is Tomla Mankranso. And um, good morning, TV3. I think the police should uh, be equipped with recording videos and voice cameras rather than guns when civilians know that they're... Uh, when civilians know that they are being recorded by the policemen, their behavior will be different. And police, too, will also stop misbehaving and slapping people. Hmm. Azuane Agopal um, from Boga. I thought it's rather the policemen who get a bit agitated when they realize that the, you know, the civilians are recording them, exactly. especially when they are involved in some corrupt practices. But Ghanaians are facing hardship and insecurity because our president is not taking responsibility for anything in this country. God have mercy on Ghanaians from Osman Bukurisung in Tamale. Um, good morning, TV3. This unprecedented killing of citizens of this country especially security men is as a result of all die be die um if you're a liar you don't talk well i'm going to jump this i'm not getting this part but he says that 2020 will show your way home okay from maoli in aflao and johnny please tell the ndc guys to leave pds alone um the staff believe in the leadership of pds and we're doing our best to push their agenda of our CEO. This is a concerned staff at Belimpe. And you have been talking about the Ghana Police Service more than the Ghana National Fire Service. The fire service lacks a lot of equipment um, too. In fact, their training school structures are out of hand. Uh, so I would be happy if the government will give them attention. And I think the last one, Ghanaians should bring back John Mahama and the NDC. Uh, he's smiling and nodding. I see that. <laughs> to save Ghana from total collapse in the hands of the NPP, this is from Alaji Haruna from a shaman. Bella, thank you hmm. very much. Okay, so uh, Sweeney is happy about that one. <laughs> and I agree, I agree with the, the texter who the says that we should talk about the fire service because yeah. I remember they came to parliament uh, during yeah. Dr. Brown Gaze's time to tell you that they, they don't have uh, fire tenders that can fight fires beyond the sixth floor. Set floor. And you were all alarmed in parliament, but since mm -hmm. then, nothing has been done about it. I remember Prince Billy and Aglati also had been demanding for choppers mm -hmm. for the fire service. Mm -hmm. We don't have that anyway. But let's turn our attention to a uh, foreign Head of Forensic uh, Sciences Department of the University of Cape Coast. Uh, he's joined us on the uh, Skype, Dr. Richmond Afuakwa. He will tell us a few things as the police get ready to announce the DNA uh, forensic results that uh, belong to the Takradi missing girls, the three ladies. And uh, we'll quickly uh, take on that one and then we'll come back to wrap up. Um, with our panelists. Well, while we try and rework Skype, I see so you had something yes. quickly. What did yes. you say? Um, I, I, well. I, I just wanted to um, make a point about uh, the comparison Kabila made and right. why some of us believe the president is a clearing agent. His point would have been valid if it is really the case, but okay. we all know it is not the case. For example, we don't know of anybody he has cleared that has been investigated by Shraj and Kled. I mean, the only person so far in his government that has been Ken investigated by Shraj mm. was Ken Oforiata, two but two, Ken Oforiata was not cleared. And it is the reason. And it is the reason. Please, please, please. You see, when you guys do this, that's what the generating to also do. And it is the reason. It is the reason. It is the reason. That is important matter was taken to Shraj, and Shraj says, we found no wrongdoing. So why is he in court with Shraj? Why is Ken Oforata in court with charge? Let's, let's, let's sometimes, you know, have cool heads over these things. Why is Ken Oforata in court with charge if charge cleared him? Yeah, but that, that's his. That's, I mean, that, that's the question you're right. I mean, he's right. I mean, you can why, see why, if there's not allowed to tell you why. He's not because of anything. He's sure. 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 He's who the president has cleared that has been investigated by Shraj and Kled. You see. No one. Let me tell you something. Okay. No one. He sets up his own phony investigations. He sets up his phony investigations and he clears them. I, I, always, I always make the point yeah. that, you see, I mean, he's a member of parliament. Okay. And so, I mean, they make the laws and everything. Mm -hmm. And then if for anything at all, if somebody is meant to live by the, de uh, the tenants of our democracy in terms of uh, the rule of law, 
It's people like himself, right, to set examples. You can't sit here and then pick and choose certain aspects of um, a certain governance structure that we have I all agree that we want to uh, be governed by. And then take certain aspects of it. There's absolutely nothing wrong that the president has done. Now, issues to do with clearing, and this is a matter that the NDC have used as an, a strategy. Is government to worried create, about no, it? No, 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 not at all. Because you see, civil society listen, listen, organizations listen, 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 came listen, together listen, to issue listen, a statement is, on is, that. So is, it's not the is, NDC. Is, 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 when we are just you, part when, of the when, civil society. When you, when, you make, when you make allegations, or certain allegations are made against individuals, mm. right? It's also imperative to also look at it from a perspective that that individual is innocent until proven guilty, okay. going through processes. Mm. Now we have issues that have come up that the CID has investigated, that uh, uh, committees have actually been set up to investigate, that the BNI, National Security, and all of those have been investigated, and it has come out that those individuals have done nothing And, and the reports are no, not but you present. See, the, For example, the, the in the case of uh, uh, Pius and Amhaji, you see, well, you see, we're told you see, that he has see, done nothing see, wrong. See, he was reassigned see, to, to what yeah, you call see, it, the see, Information you Ministry you from you the Sports Ministry, you see, and the report is not in the public you domain. See, you see, is it the case that every single report under the watch of the NDC, for instance, was put out in the public domain? Okay, or let's turn our attention to Skype. Eric, these are we'll, we'll come back to you. You do a mop up. White Thank papers you. You on do a up. The police is set to announce their DNA results from the investigation regarding the three attack radicals. I've been joined up via Skype by Dr. Richmond Afoqua, the head of the Forensics Department of the UCC. Chief, good morning. Thank you for your time, sir. Good morning, how are you? Very, very well. How do you, how do you take the police's announcement to put out the uh, forensics of the three missing Takradi girls uh, out shortly? Okay, I, I'm yet to hear the announcement, but if, if that is the case, then I think it's good news. Do you, do you in, your, in your honest opinion, think that the, the long wait was necessary? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, the wait has actually not been too long, I must say. It hasn't been because I, I think it, is, it was only on the 15th of last month right. that the police uh, went for uh, the DNA of the family mm. members, mm. the samples from the family members. And so far, it's been just a little over two weeks, I guess. So... So I'm not sure we have waited that long. How how long does and it usually I, I, take? Prior, prior to, how long does it usually take for yes, a I, DNA test to be completed? Yes, like like I've I have been saying, it it depends on uh, where you are getting your DNA from. Okay. Uh, I mean, in this particular instance, uh, they are extracting DNA from bones. Oh, well, sorry about that. Uh, technology always has a way of messing you up. Uh, if we uh, reconnect with Doc, we'll share with you. Eric, you are airborne quickly, and then well, Kabila will have a final thing. This attempt to sort of create a certain perception that is being essentially uh, put out by the NDC mm -hmm. to listen, the president has shown, and it's clear that any allegation whatsoever that has been put out there has been. Investigate. Where are the reports? Actions. Where are the reports? No, but you see, the thing is that where are those, the, the that, con that that conversation can be had where in the context of what is the president meant to do? Presidents have the uh, 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 what you call prerogative to uh, hire and fire people without recourse to telling you what the reason. Where, where where the but public it, the no, public no, but is it, interested no, but you see, and, but the, 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 and the individuals' no, listen, images are listen, 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 listen. When you have issues of this nature, okay. I believe strongly that what, I mean, the most recent thing is about this BPA conversation, for instance, mm. where a video has been shown. Okay. And the president shows enough conviction and mm. says that with this evidence, step aside. Okay. Let's make a report to Shraj. Mm. Let's make another report to the special prosecutor okay. for investigations to be had. Now, this individual, by virtue of the fact that you hold a certain position, okay. and you might uh, uh, 
interfere with okay. this investigation is asked to step aside mm. so that those inv investigations are done. Now, are you saying that when the investigations are done mm. and the individual is found culpable, okay. he has to be dealt with by the law. Right. But if okay. that individual is found not Ka Ka culpable, Ka is that individual Ka has Ka 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 right to be reassigned <laughs> or to be reinstated. Ka Ka it doesn't lie to Suhini. And I can give you a pleasure of example. Okay. How many of Camilla, these Camilla, things were even investigated to start with? From the leaders and supers and uh, uh, all of these. Eric, 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 Eric wants to deny me the last bite. <laughs> you can but go ahead. Simply, I think the point I was making was not in the specific instance of Shrike per se, okay. but in the state, the generality of right. state institutions, right. and right. particularly the police administration. Right. So, in it, you will attest to the fact that they attack the CID NDC, personally. you have had cause to say the police could not be trusted. MPP have done the same. Depending on which side of the uh, government situation okay. you belong to, I'm saying we need to change that. All right, I'm in mean, TV3 today can be trusted. And uh, thank you to Honorable Alasa is the goodness. MPP, uh, NDC MP for Tamale North. Uh, Eric yes, Chum Eric. is also a member of the MPP's communication yeah, team. And James Kwabena Bonfess, say James, comrade, is the acting general secretary of the CPP. <laughs> Eric, did you say TV3 New Day can be trusted sometimes? Okay. Really? <laughs>